Uh, oh, well, yeah. Have. What was your awful, oh, yeah. crazy take? <laughs> okay, so explain your take first. You, you want to remove the voting restriction uh, age? Why are you? What, oh, this is about you, Doomer. Why? What are you calling oh, me? Is out your for? wait? Is your take related to that? <laughs> yeah, my take is like the opposite of his take. I oh, think. okay. My take? Yeah. Well, everyone always gets my take wrong, so I actually wrote my argument out. I have like my, <laughs> I'm a full okay. argument here. The <laughs> argument for lowering the voting age. This is well, long, thought, though. You really want to go not, into this? this all right, should, like, should I? Well, I, I just going to say I'm super. I'm super super bummed because like I didn't. I didn't wake up one morning and go, voting, 12-year-olds, that should be a thing, okay? This is not like a demon mama situation. There, there are certain problems in society that I'm trying to like work a solution for. So I basically lay out my problems. And I actually, I'm, I'm, I think the idea of letting the parents vote for the children, I think, solves the problem. So I think my... I think my take might be, uh, you know, instead of disenfranchising kids, let the mm -hmm. parents have the vote for the kid until the kid turns 18. That's an even worse take than your original take. I'm going to be honest. Well, do you want, do you <laughs> here, listen, the, here's the thing. Here's the because, thing. I, no, but wait a minute. Cause remember when you gave your original, get rid of the voting age take, mm -hmm. my counter argument was kids will just vote however their parents want to. So you're essentially giving extra votes to parents that have, that have kids. And then you fought me on this saying, no, kids are going to rebel, blah, blah, blah. And now you're saying, well, let's just get the parents the extra votes. <laughs> well, listen, here's the problem that I'm trying to solve, though. Okay, the assumption, okay. political leaders only care about the people who got them elected and develop public policy that benefits their voters, often True. at the expense of the opposition's voters. And this is Bueno de Mesquite and Smith, 2003. Okay. Uh, this creates a socioeconomic system that shifts any costly externalities onto parties with no political power and away from voters. Okay. So kids are, are part of the equation and they don't have any voting rights. And I, I think this is one of the reasons why our public schools are fucking garbage because the parents only have one, you know, a parent has five kids and they have one vote. <laughs> so, so, uh, Though most people think the, and this is my number two assumption. So though most people think of voting as a decision, oh, this is this is um, this the number two is an argument why it's not that big a deal if kids vote. I don't think I need to go into that because you understand the problem, right? Disenfranchised people and kids are disenfranchised. So that's the problem that I'm trying to solve. What did you guys abandon me? What happened? No, I, sorry, I. I, I was watching the stream and your mm -hmm. mouth was still moving, but you had stopped talking in the call. <laughs> so I was waiting for your mouth to stop. Yeah, oh, interesting. Yeah. Huh. Um, Got okay. So by it, my argument, it was so it was so stellar that you were completely dumbfounded, <laughs> speechless. I know. A absolutely, absolutely correct. I had I had no response. I t the only reason I typed this out was because people keep keep giving me counter arguments that aren't addressing my argument at all. They don't remotely touch on my argument. And I'm going, I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue about your, I'm not, I'm not here to disprove your reasons for why you believe what you believe. <laughs> I'm here making an argument for why this is a problem and should be solved. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. What is your take that's counter to this? Okay. Your, okay, your should, take should was like, nobody should vote or something like that. Uh, we'll get to that. Should I, should I <laughs> give this in, in the, in the diplomatic um, no, way, or, no, 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 you want it demon mama style, fucking yeah, yelling yeah, in our faces. Demon mama style, okay, demon mama style, <laughs> end universal suffrage. Okay, raise the voting age to twenty five and disenfranchise almost everyone. That way, we can have more direct democracy and more participation, and people are incentivized to educate themselves. Otherwise, they can't vote, and people who aren't educated shouldn't vote. That's mm -hmm. a dick. Well, that is okay. Wait a minute. Wait that, a minute. That's a planned economy right there. So you're basically arguing for socialism. Uh, that's. How is that socialism? Well, hold on. Before we get into that, let me let me clarify. Okay, so the criteria was raise the voting age, raise the voting age to twenty five. Yeah. But then, what was you said something like only educated people should yeah, vote. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Only the smart what, people should make. What is the that? Decisions. Like, what does that mean? It means that you should know what you're voting on. Right. Like no, but I mean, like, people. how? What would like? How do you? What would that okay, look in, like in, logistically? In, okay. In, in a practical sense, this will mm -hmm. never happen. So just, I'm just clarifying, this isn't a, this isn't like an argument for something that should happen in the real world. This will never happen. Okay. But the way that you would do it is by having some sort of an unbiased council come up with a test and 
uh, the, probably the, central the planners. Practical... I love it. <laughs> Keep I mean, going. Okay. And probably the most practical way to do it is to make a test and give people the answers. So all they have to do is memorize the answers, but then at the very least, they know what they're voting on. Wait, wow. wait, wait. I don't understand. You give people tests. I understand that. What do you mean you give them the answers? I mean, you, you publish the test and you publish the answers. But then what would that... Time. So you're saying only people who would take the time to memorize the answers should vote, basically. I'm, I'm saying that people should know what they're voting on. And right now they don't. Like almost everybody that votes is pretty clueless about basically everything. So like okay. it, there's like three different... In my opinion, there's like three different reasons to have a democracy. One of them is to check, have a check on oligarchical power. Um, one of them is... You're is setting up oligarchical power. What are you talking about? That's not oligarchy. You don't need money. You just need You're to be able to You're limiting the number thing. of people who can make decisions in society. That's totally an oligarch. It, well, we're, we're, we're getting to this, okay? <laughs> so one, one is to limit ol oligarchical power. And by that, I mean people with a lot of money. You don't mm -hmm. need money to like memorize a test. Sure. The, the second reason is sort of a social cohesion argument that you want people to be bought into their government. You want people to participate and feel like they're doing something or whatever. And the third reason is that you think democracy is a good reason, of, a good means of making decisions. So basically the issue I run into with everybody is that I only care about making good decisions. Mm -hmm. I don't care mm -hmm. about feeling like you're participating and I don't think it's an effective check on oligarchy. So the decision-making is the only thing that I care about. And if you hmm. want to make good decisions, you know, then you, at the, at the very least, at the very least, people should know what they're voting on. Let, let me like read. They almost never do. Let me read my part two here because it plays on a lot of what you're saying. So uh, number two, though most people think of voting as decision making about the future, with central planning being the furthest extension of this idea, where only the most intelligent and experienced people make political and economic decisions, voting in a de democratic society actually functions as a selection mechanism based on the policies of the past. This makes the voting process much simpler since anyone can look at their current situation, do they have good schools, safe streets, clean drinking water, and vote on how the current policies are affecting them instead of, instead of conceptualizing voting as a future prediction mechanism, uh, something even the smartest economists and engineers often have difficulty doing, voting is better conceptualized as a poll of the people's individual situations. Voters, um, voters, elevate, uh, voters evaluate how current policies are affecting them, utilizing experiences that they alone uh, possess, and vote to maintain the current leadership or enlist new leadership uh, to displace the current status quo. So I'm thinking of voting as, you know, a poll of everybody's personal situation that you're basically taking off the table because you're going to bring in the central planners that make the decisions for the future. Well, I'm saying that it can't be a poll if people don't even know what a candidate's positions are. And that's been my experience. Is that like, you know, if you talk to people about what Bernie Sanders thinks, then you ask them about Medicare for all. I mean, you're only only 70 percent of people would correctly guess that he's even for it. And it's like his biggest thing. You know, if you go down the list and you start talking about his fifth or sixth or seventh policy position, I mean, people mm -hmm. who support Bernie Sanders don't know what it was. I mean, I was hardcore for Bernie Sanders. I didn't do know do you understand policy. how this, though, is a is basically central planning? You're basically saying only the smart people sure, should make I, the decisions. Hey, I'm not ideologically committed. I want problem solved. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't like socialism. I like this because it's a problem that people vote and they don't even know what they're voting on. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I just I I fundamentally believe in I guess I, I just believe in like wisdom of the crowds. I think I the first one, I think the problem is you you get in a situation and we're in that situation now. Most people don't vote and the people that don't vote don't matter, man. Politicians don't care one bit. If you don't vote, they don't care. And in the so. current system, yeah. I mean, it, it, exactly. And, and in the current system, I think that the general sentiment around people not having power is really overblown. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would agree with you that people actually, if people like, went out to vote and, and like politically mobilized, there actually is a good deal of power in that. But again, I don't, I care about making good decisions, right? Well, you, but it's you like, don't know if the decision is good until you try it out and see if it works. I mean, they thought prohibition was going to be gangbusters. I mean, there's, there's bad ideas that we've had that have not been done away with for, I mean, decades when, right. when people know they're bad decisions. So, so here in your situation, they implement an idea it, it turns out it's great for all the people who came up with the idea and terrible for all the people you just disenfranchised. What happens next time around? Oh, let's keep doing this. 
this is great for us and horrible for them. No, that's that's how things happen now. That's not how things would happen. I mean, if you have well, a but the, tremendous that's, amount of that's direct the, democracy. That is, that is the people that don't vote's fault, though. That's their own fault. That's not the fault of... I mean, you're in a situation where they don't even have any ability to vote. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not placing fault on individual people. I'm saying that I, okay, I personally have very little incentive mm -hmm. to go and vote mm -hmm. when I know that I'm completely ignorant and yet somehow I know more than everyone that I meet. But you aren't like, ignorant you, about your current situation. And if a policy came into play that you'd be like, oh, this would totally affect me, you might like to vote on that policy. Well, sure. I mean, so like, again, I'm, I'm proposing a lot of direct democracy. So there would be different. What is direct? There would be, what do you mean by di direct democracy? Direct democracy means that instead of uh, electing representatives, you directly vote on issues. Mm -hmm. So like on a social issue, there would there wouldn't be much need for a test because exactly like you're saying. So, people so instead, do know how so these things affect them. you would still have to be 25 to be able to vote in this direct democracy of yours. Yeah. I mean, okay. that, that's just that's just that's just a pessimism of like 18 year olds or, you know, yeah. <laughs> not making the best decisions. It's um, not about, to, this is the thing though. That's what I don't get. It's like, it's so, it's such hubris to think that it's all about, I'm going to well, make let, the let best me, decisions. Well, I don't, let me I give just, you a that's way too much hubris for me. So do you think there's anything wrong if somebody walks into a voting booth and votes and just randomly checks boxes? Fuck no. There's nothing wrong with that? No. Okay, well, then there's just an, a, this, so this is, I'm glad we got to this because this is sort of the irreconcilable difference. <laughs> well, wait there's a no way here. I can talk you out of wait, that. Wait yeah. a second here. Do you think that person, like that person obviously doesn't have anything on the line in the election if they're just going in and voting randomly? Like if there's something. I don't think you can make that assumption. Why? They're just fucking, they could just be an idiot. I don't know. Sure, I mean, totally. Have, everything, totally. everyone has something on there the is, line. There right? is, the thing is though, and I've thought about this, Doomer. The people that go in and randomly tick boxes cancel each other out. It's called statistics. So <laughs> the fucking the 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 What's, this is how the wisdom of crowds works. It no, does. No, Eighty percent of the people saying. make terrible decisions and the people who have knowledge 90, make the good decisions. No, here, what I'm saying is that ninety five percent of the population walk in and randomly check boxes. They just don't realize they're randomly checking boxes because they don't know what the boxes represent. They don't know what the issues are. They don't know where candidates stand on things. Mm -hmm. They damn the fuck sure haven't done research to actually understand any issue All irrelevant. on the level of like All whatever totally it's said irrelevant. on MSNBC. Totally it's, irrelevant. To to whether or not good decisions are made, this is not irrelevant. irrelevant. This is this is very important because the political system right now is basically such that you know who wins is the person who's better able to herd, you know, the the, the uh, bewildered yeah, to motivate people, people. To, to motivate people to show up yeah i agree yeah i mean again if, if you if you uh if what you value is the sort of social cohesion thing that's fine you know we just mm -hmm. don't agree on our priorities right but in terms of like decision making our process is pretty bad mm -hmm. well is the issue here that most people look at voting the way you're kind of looking at i mean i don't think most people agree with you but most people look at the, the way no, nobody looks at voting the way i do they look at well adam's adam's perspective is much bullshit bullshit nobody but looks at it my way yeah really nobody I, because you know I've heard well, hold on hold on so everyone looks at voting even if future prediction i know i know exactly how if you give me make me president i know how to restructure society make it all great yeah, that's it, the way people think they're fucking it idiots. seems like most people look at voting the same way they don't agree with what you're saying, Doomer, but they look at it as as like people voting for a prescription for how they want the future to be. And Adam is kind of has this weird way of looking at voting, which is that he thinks it's like a poll of the description of how things currently are. Yeah. No, I think I think his description in terms of like real politic is like completely accurate. Mm -hmm. I like mean, Reagan just... did this. Reagan basically said, you know, if you feel like you're better off now than you were four years ago, then you should vote for the other guy. Reagan came out and said it just fucking matter of fact. How yeah. that's, I mean, ex descriptively, that's exactly what goes on every time we have an election. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that your assessment of our current system is completely accurate. I don't disagree with any of that. Gerrymandering like <laughs> is what makes it impossible. That's interesting. Gerrymandering right. is what makes this system impossible because it doesn't matter. Everybody just well, fucking votes the same I, I way. I think 